Hi, I'm Mark Galliotti, author of the forthcoming book The Vori, Russia's Super Mafia. And I'm in Moscow, specifically I'm in Hitrovka Square. Now at the moment it's a snowbound but actually very salubrious part of, of the city. But once upon a time, back in the 19th century in its miserable heyday, it was one of the most vicious and degrading slums in all of Russia. Um, it was one of the so-called Yami, the pits. Um, here, in the sort of flop houses and, and almost sort of barracks-like dormitories that were around here, flocked the dispossessed, the hopeless, the hapless, and in fact also the predatory. It was a miserable area. It was essentially a no-go area as far as the Russian police were concerned. When they came in, it was often going to be just in the morning to clear out the, the night's bodies, or if they actually went in to do some real policing, they would go in squads and platoons with weapons drawn. Essentially this was a lawless area. And yet not an area completely without rules, because it's here in these kind of slums that a criminal subculture of sorts emerged. Um, here the taverns were basically places where you could hire gangsters, criminals, specialists of every kind. There were everything from fences to the so-called raki, the crayfishes, as they were known, who were tailors who would take clothes that you'd stolen and overnight rework them into something else that could be then sold on indistinguishable from what had been actually been taken. Also here emerged a language, um, a, a, an argo, a slang that increasingly became the form of an entire sort of separate dialect of its own. And this, this whole culture was known as the Varovskoy Mir, the thieves' world, because it was an encapsulated social world of its own. Now, the Hitrovka itself would in due course be demolished by the Bolsheviks. In the 1920s they decided it was completely beyond any possibility of reform, so they flattened it and rebuilt as we see now. But the Varovskoy Mir was the basis for the very distinctive and very violent criminal culture of the so-called the Vori, the thieves, that emerged in the 20th century and would absolutely reshape the, the Soviet and essentially Russian underworld. I talk about this and a lot more in my book, The Vori, Russia's Super Mafia, available from Yale University Press from April in the UK and May in the United States. I hope you take a look at it. I hope you buy it. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks very much.